In a video I made a couple of weeks ago, I answered the question, could you use a beauty dish as a key light and would it make any real difference? And you guys seem to like that video quite a lot, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a lantern softbox instead. You might notice there are no other lights on like there usually are in this studio. And that's because I don't want you to be distracted by all the other lights that I usually have on. I want to show you the exact differences between a softbox, which is what I'm using at the moment. It's a 60 centimeter softbox from Godox and the Godox CS65D. Aperture do make a lantern similar to this and I've always kind of been intrigued to see what the difference is. What I'm expecting to see is that the light isn't gonna be so focused on me and it's gonna light up most of the room. I also have a camera behind me, hello, to show you exactly what light is in place at what time. Okay, so take this shot in. This is with the softbox. So you can see me pretty clearly. You can see my air conditioning unit. You can just about see my back wall. You can see my desk, kind of. Well, you can see my keyboard at least. And look at the catch light in my eye. Not too bad at all. So now we're gonna swap over to the lantern. Just for reference, this is what it looks like with no diffusion at all. Okay, now this is the lantern and you can see a lot more junk behind me, definitely. You can see the frames which are really well defined. You can see this piece of wood. I mean, you can see pretty much everything in the shed in not a very flattering way. And that's because the light from the softbox is so much more directional. You can really stop the spill from the light of the softbox going all over the space. Whereas the lantern is just like having a massive great big bulb in the corner of the room, which is gonna light everything up. Now I've got the SL60W set to 25%. I haven't changed in between the Godox softbox and the Godox lantern. And I think it's producing a similar amount of light. There is just a lot more spill with the lantern. Similarly to the beauty dish, I've always wondered what this would actually look like. And could you use it as a key light? And I think the answer is, well, yes, you could do, but not in the situation that I'm filming in at the moment. I really like to be able to direct my light, very little spill and have ambient light in the background. Alexa, turn on gallery. Like that. If you were filming in somewhere that was already quite bright, then you could definitely get away with one of these as your key light. But what I'm gonna be using it for and what I bought it for is I've got a shoot coming up in a couple of weeks in quite a dark space and there's gonna be several actors sat around a table. And this is gonna light up that room very, very evenly. I'm probably gonna have it directly above them like it was a normal lamp in your sitting room, but it's gonna produce a daylight color and obviously it's gonna be a lot brighter. One last thing is I really like the catch light of this because it is just a massive ball of light. It does create a really nice catch light. So there we go, that's the end of this video. If there's anything else you want me to compare, do you want me to compare the Aperture version of this to the Godox version? Do you want me to try a bigger or smaller beauty dish? Do you want me to compare a big or a small softbox? I can do all of these things, I have, I have access to most of them. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, like the video and subscribe so you never miss another episode and I'll see you again really soon. Thanks for watching.